From the look of the water bills, you might think Westminster is entirely to blame for Colorado's current drought. But locals say they're not using any more water. They're just paying more for it. Here's contact Denver 7's Jacqueline Allen. No, oh, these poor things are dying for water. Monica Carboni never thought she'd have to choose between paying her water bill or buying groceries. This is my current bill that I owe. Until her most recent water bill from the city of Westminster. The total up here is 266.32. A 60% increase over this time last year. This is huge. This, I have to take grocery money, money to feed my son in order to pay my water bill. I feel that's wrong. She's one of dozens of Westminster residents. My bill went up $200, over 20%. Reaching out to contact Denver 7. I've got a bill now that's $600. To report water sticker shock. We jumped up about $120. Homeowners sending photos of lawns they've let die because of big bills. Heather Griffiths usually pays about 120 bucks, but is now looking at 1000 We might have to move. We can't do this. I don't know what to do. This is incredible. So we went to Westminster Public Works and Utilities Director Max Kirschbaum for answers. While there was about a 10% rate increase this year, he blames irrigating during a particularly hot, dry summer and people staying home for coronavirus. We've also seen a total residential water use increase of about 33% over the last four months. We checked though, and after the rate hike this year, the city has some of the highest rates in the region for high water users. In 18, I voted against those. I was the only person who voted against those um, increases. City Councilor David DeMott calls Westminster's recent rate increases too aggressive. He supports conservation, but... One of my concerns has always been what happens to property values when people can't afford to water their lawn. Many residents, including Monica, want to know if new water meters are connected to the new bills, longer billing cycles, or a planned water treatment facility. The city says no to all. Not much comfort, though, when you see the bottom line. I cried. I literally cried because I did not know where I was going to find this extra money. In Westminster, Jacqueline Allen for Denver 7.